friends in this video we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of medium resistances using the carry foster slide wire bridge so let us start with our problem <music> question is that uh, in a carry foster slide wire bridge a resistance of 1.0125 ohm it is compared with a standard resistance of 1 ohm so this is the unknown resistance or the resistance which is compared with the standard resistance now slide wire it is having the resistance of 0 0.250 ohms in 100 divisions so the complete resistance is 0 0.250 ohms and the total divisions on the slide wire is 100 divisions ratio arms nominally the value of the ratio arms is 10 ohm but actually the actual value of the ratio arms is coming out to be 10.05 and 9.95 ohms now we have to calculate that how far are the balance positions from those which would be obtained when the ratio arms were true to their nominal value so we have to take two measurements one with the nominal value of the ratio arms as 10 ohm and another measurement which is done when the value of the ratio arms is 10.05 and 9.95 and we have to see that what is the different be difference between the two measurements so let us try to solve this problem now first we will calculate the balance conditions when the value of the ratio arms is equal to their nominal value now in the carry foster slide wire bridge the slide wire means the pointer is moved over the slide wire and the balance condition is tried to obtain and uh, the one portion of the slide wire will be added with the unknown resistance and another the remaining portion of the slide wire is added with the standard resistance so suppose that when the balance is obtained the balancing the length at which the balance condition is obtained in the slide wire bridge that length is l1 so l1 is the distance of the balance point on the slide wire from the unknown resistance side okay so when we are calculating the length of the balance point from the unknown resistance side because in the bridge we know that uh, this is like p here we are having q here we are having the unknown resistance r here slide wire is connected and here we are having the standard resistance s in between that galvanometer is connected and we want to find out the balance point now this is slide wire suppose the length at which we are getting the balance point it is at a distance l1 from the unknown resistance side so the ratio because here we are using that the ratio arms is equal to their nominal value so p and q are the ratio arms so it will be equal to 10 ohm the standard resistance is 1.000 ohms r is also 1.0125 ohms these values are given to us so under balance conditions we know that for the carry foster bridge p upon q is equals to r upon s but now this time with r this l1 r is also added now r plus 
L1 R is also added. Small r is the resistance per unit length of the slide wire. And from S, the total length of the slide wire is given to us in the question. It is 100 centimeter. It is given to us. So if this total length is 100, at L1, we are getting the balance point. So remaining is 100 minus L1. And because here R is the small r is the resistance per unit length. So we are going to multiply it with 100 minus L1 and small r. Okay. So from this, P is 10 ohm, Q is 10 ohm, R is 1 plus R is 1.0125 ohms plus L1 we want to find out R is the resistance per unit length. Now we are given that the slide wire is having a total resistance of 0 0.250 ohm in 100 divisions. So if we want to find out the resistance per unit length So we are going to divide the total resistance that is uh, this 0 0.250 with the total number of divisions on the slide wire that is 100. So we will get it as 0 point because when this is removed we are going to add 1, 2, 3 zeros here. So it will be 0, 0, 0. 2, 5 ohms per centimeter. This is the resistance per unit length of the slide wire. So resistance per unit length we have calculated. So putting its value here in this formula that is R. So L1 multiplied with 0 0.00025. Divided by S is what? 1.0000 plus 100 minus L1. And multiplied with R again 0 0.00025. So what it will be? 10 by 10 or we can say when we this is cancelled only one will be there then 1.0125 plus 0 0.00025 l1 upon 1 plus 100 multiplied with this so it will be 0 0.025 minus 0 0.00025 l1 so just cross multiply it and then we will find the value of L1 as 25 centimeter. So the length at which we are getting the balance point when we have used the ratio arms equal to their nominal value. This is 25 centimeter and remaining is the 75 centimeter so there were 100 scale divisions so at 25 scale divisions we are getting the balance point and other length is 75 now we have to take the second condition when the ratio arms are different from their nominal value balance arms equal to their true values. So at this time P is equal to 9.05 ohms and Q is equal to 10.05 ohms. So under this condition when we are obtaining the balance condition here so again P upon Q is equals to R plus L1. L1 will be changed here. It will become L2 upon S plus 100 minus L2 R. P is 9.05. Q is 
here r is again 1.0125 plus l2 we want to calculate r small r is again 0 0.00025 s plus s is 1 and here 100 minus l2 and 0 0.00025 so when we calculate this, we will get the length as 5 centimeter. So when the value of the ratio arm is changed, earlier it was uh, each was 10 ohm and now it is 9.05 and 10.05. So you can see that the length has changed. Earlier we were getting the combination as 25 and 75 and this time we are getting 5 and 95. So that is the change in the balance point when we have changed the values of the ratio arms. So in the question we were asked that we have to find out that how far in the scale divisions are the balance positions from those which would obtain which was obtained when the ratio arms were true to their normal values. So what the difference we are getting so you can see that the difference is that when the ratio arms are equal to their nominal value we are getting the balance point as 25 and 75 scale divisions and when it is equal to their true value we are getting the ratio as 5 and 95 scale divisions So in this way we can calculate the balance conditions in case of or we can measure the resistance using the Carrie Foster slide wire bridge. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.